Hello and welcome to another episode of Poke Openings. As you can see in front of us today, we have uh, a nice, nice little selection of uh, cards yet again. But the main point we're doing this today, this, this is the starter. This is the appetizer because later on, probably in part three, we're going to be opening two of these, which is the Marnie Gym Collect Premium Gym Collections. Now, uh, we kind of we're going to just do a couple packs than these but as, obviously as it turns out we've all got a lot more product than we thought oh, too many cards so what it's going to be probably is part one of three it's going to be my stuff part two or three of tim's and then we're going to have a money battle i'll get more into that in part three so obviously stay tuned for that um that should be going up in a few days but enough rambling um let's get straight on to it so i think i'm going to do my ones first as just traditional Tim's going to do his a little bit later, and uh, oh, we're going to keep the peace to resist on. I'm genuinely very excited for this. So, with me, I have brought my uh, Shiny Fate Elite Trainer Box, which I got for quite a good deal, because Amazon, a while back, had a £10 off voucher, which is incredible for Pokemon cards. Mm -hmm. I've got four Chilling Rain Booster Packs, and you may think that's a strange amount of singles to have. And that's because... Game uh, in the UK, which is kind of like GameStop, but a bit different, obviously, had a uh, deal on on their website where if you bought that, you would get this Scobunny Futsal promo. So um, I'm pretty certain in saying this, this is a UK only promo card. Uh, you can't get this anywhere else. And actually, I believe I it's, it's yeah it's supposed to be England uh, specific. Yes. <laughs> so we live in Wales, which is another country in the United Kingdom, and apparently this was only available in England. However, thanks to some fiddling on the website, they would ship it to Wales. So basically, if you bought these, or I think you get decks or whatever as well, you could get a school bunny futsal. There he is playing a futsal, not a football, no, no, because no. they're legally different or something. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that, as I mentioned, if you're in the US, you'd probably have to buy this on eBay or something. I really like it. It's, Weirdly, um, when I got when I got my um, order from that from Games, they did the same thing that you did, got the four Chilling Rain boosters on the card, and they sent like an invoice on it, and it said it broke down what was what. Hmm. And the way they did it was, the boosters were like £2 each, and the promo was £7. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a lot of money for a single card, but it's weird how they... And it worked yeah. out, like, really well, because you're paying, like, just under £4 a booster, I think it was, which is... Damn. Pretty good, but, yeah, it's weird the way... Yeah, it actually, yeah, it was something like £15, I think, for four and this. And also, you'll notice another promo. Well, when I went to buy the Marnie box, and I found it in the wild, in-game, because, as with, I no doubt, a lot of other people... Uh, Tim pre-ordered three of the Marnie collections, uh, one for me, one for him, one for our other friend Tom, and they cancelled two of them. It was sad. Uh, but I luckily found it in the wild, and by pure coincidence, because I paid more than £10 in game, they also gave me this Grookey Futsal promo, so um, another UK specific one. I'm pretty sure every Futsal card is UK specific. I know there was a Pikachu one two years ago. Because I went to get one by going to a game and spending £20 and they informed me it was England only and I left the shop without buying anything because that just sucked. But yeah, these, these are Did you do a Sobble one then? It seems odd to leave them out. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I didn't even know about Krooky, but surely Sobble would have to play some kind of part. But yeah, otherwise it's just favouritism. Very strange. But yeah, the, these are pretty cool. Uh, just in case you guys watching are not in the UK or wherever, these are a very weird quirk in that the UK is for, for once getting a weird exclusive thing that the rest of the world does not have. But anyway, enough rambling, let's get on to these four Chilling Rain packs, I think. Now, I've opened a few Chilling Rain packs all off video, I'm pretty sure I don't think I've done any in any poke openings. Uh, my best pull, actually, was a pack that Tim graciously gave me <laughs> from his booster pack, and I pulled a Celebi VMAX, so... Yeah, sweet card, that Celebi VMAX. That was, that was very nice. So, I'd like to get a V from these packs, maybe, but I'm not holding out hope. I, I literally paid this just for the bunny. Yeah. Uh, these packs are just gratis, basically. <laughs> So we're going to start. Ooh, we've got Clara. Very cute. Okay. Let me angle this up a bit because we've got a bit of a shadow. 
Hey, we've got a welcoming lantern. Very, I don't think I've seen that one, but... Thank you for welcoming us. Yeah, that's right. And welcome to this video as well. Uh, ooh, Lady Anne. I haven't seen him in a while, no, actually. Yeah, nice. uh, ooh, very nice. A shepherd. Oh, like just shepherd. chilling. Hey, we got a skull bunny. Uh, just kind of running along the beach and stuff. Hey, Diglett. Was it? I think it was uh, Battlestars that had the Diglett monument behind him, I think. Uh, we've got Inky. Yes. Oh, there we are. Cub Fu. I think I have one already, but it, this is the first set with Cub Fu in, so. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, a Volcarona reverse. Very nice. Nice, yeah, very That's, nice. Uh, yeah, and that, that red is very uh, mm. understated, but like nice. And the rare. <laughs> Walry. Is he Walry? Look how happy he is. Look uh -huh. at that. I need to pull that Walry. That is very cute. Uh, yes, so in case you haven't seen the other Poke Openings episodes, uh, Tim is kind of doing a thing at the moment where he's building up the entire Pokedex. I need to get one of each Pokemon. Uh, and to be fair, it's it's a good um, it's on good pace at the moment. He is one card away from the Kanto Pokedex. I am. I just need Aerodactyl. There's, uh, yeah, Aerodactyl, fun fact to those watching, Aerodactyl is weirdly not a very popular card in a lot of sets. You don't want to print him. I think Team Up was the last time he was reasonably obtainable, which is the rare. Yeah. But even as a rare, you'd think Aerodactyl would be uncommon. Apparently. But there we go. Hey, okay, we've got Brawly. Wait, Brawly, Gen 3 we mixed. Ooh, <laughs> Gen 3, Gen 3 when? We've got a Fog Crystal. Hey, a cool, yeah? Very cute. Yeah, horrible. Uh, we've got a Ladybug. A lot of these cards are kind of new to me, because, as I say, I've opened like four or five packs, maybe. We've got regular cast form. Nice. I wonder if there are the... Oh! <laughs> cool, there we are. Well, you've, you've just answered my question. Thank you, Pack. Yes, there is different types of cast form. Very cute. I do like some cast form. Yeah, uh, hey, we've got Galarian Yamask. Nice. Very nice, with his ridiculous evolution method. Just insane. We've got uh, very cute Swirlix there. Oh yeah, because obviously Fairy isn't a thing anymore. Yeah. I was like, wait, it's Psychic. Ooh, okay. Dynatree Hill, yeah, but kind of kind of cool. And the rare is... Galarian Surfetched. Okay, kind of cool. I, I like... I like the sort of composition yeah. of that shot. That that's really nice. Another that's one with of... the ridiculous of evolution method. Uh, yes, yeah. It's. <laughs> I mean, it me a long time to I. Those yeah, I I appreciate, you know, Pokemon sort of switching it up and being like, look, we don't want evolution just to be like, oh, it's hit level thirty, yay. Yeah, I like it. I think it's interesting. It's. Uh, but yeah, they are a bit bizarre. I think. The one thing that strikes me that the games could kind of do with is a kind of like evolution guru that like maybe you'd take a Pokemon and you know it'd be cryptic but he'd be sort of like oh that far fetched eh he looks like he'd be uh, very like v very focused in battle or something because the game is just like I hey, evolve it how do you do that yeah evolve it everyone's just gonna yeah everyone's gonna Google it. Therapy, aren't they? So we're getting a third pack with Fog Crystal. Nice. Oh, and the Curlier again. Okay. Oh, we've got a Scroll of the Skies. Ooh. Very nice. Cool. Hey, we've. I got very confused then. I was like, why is Blitzel in the water? Have I read that <laughs> wrong? Ah, oh, talking about Blit uh, water, we've got Lapras. Nice. Hey, Bone Sweet. Having very a fabulous cute. time. Yeah, really, really enjoying there. We've got a Venipi just chilling, man. Like the the artwork of bugs and stuff is weirdly like really detailed a lot of the time because the canopy kind of breaks of leaves and stuff. Just, ah, yeah. We got Ralts. Nice. Uh, will we get a Gardevoir? That would be a cool pull, I think. I mean, reverse Aquarius. Yeah. Re oh man, Steels are always the best to get reverse of because they yeah. are just they look real shiny. Shiny metal. Look at that massive armored. Uh, Kaiju. <laughs> Ooh, hey, and we've got a hollow Galarian Slowking. I like a hollow effect on that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is, uh, yeah, very nice. I think this is my, f well, I think it's the first set Galarian Slowking's in, actually, so 
Mm. It would yeah. make sense, but like, yeah, that's really cool. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw your cord card, and it was one of the green ones. That's like you're not getting a hollow. Oh, no. but you're right. Yeah, I think we've done away yeah. with it for. for uh, so uh, a fun fact of previous things: this would mean you're not getting hollow. It's only a rare. So like weight the pack a bit, but yeah, I'm glad they've done away with it because occasionally you'd be opening the last pack and you'd be like, you know, hoping on something and maybe it would be cool and then you'd see it and be like, oh, well, I... I know this is going to be crap. Yeah, and um, you just kind of... It would take the excitement out of it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, so that's the last Chilling Rain things. As I say, these packs I wasn't really banking on anything cool. I just wanted the futsal promo because... Yeah. I was bitter about not getting Pikachu all those years ago, to be honest. And to be fair, like, School Bunny just suits it better. Yes. So, uh, right. Ooh, okay. We've got a uh, Crabominable. Nice. Um, yeah, I was going to say, it's like, oh, yeah, because the Sun and Moon set, but it's not, not at all. <laughs> it's not at all. Ooh, Ragged Helmet. Uh, rugged Helmet, sorry. Hey, Flannery, more Gen 3 love. Definitely confirmed. Okay. Uh, hey, there we are. We've got a... Oh, uh, sorry, I, I was like, wait, we pulled one of these now as the <laughs> Surfetched we pulled. Farfetch, very nice. Hey, Sneasel, kind of uh, in the tundra, obviously. Ah, oh, Winter de Yeah, that is Winter, isn't it? Yeah, I think. Winter good. Dealing, very nice. We've got Golette. Uh, he's always lifting stuff. Yes. Everything you see Golette in, he is always lifting rocks That's or sitting right. down. Yay, we've got Diglett again, our reverse. Hey, Celio. okay, Celio. Hey. Uh, oh, we haven't pulled a Sfeel. No, I That's a lost. shame, because, like, Sfeel... Sfeel, Sfeel, like, Sfeel VMAX next. Wait, did I get a wall ring reverse, or was that the rare? I think it was just the rare. Okay. Uh, right, next... Oh, oh shit, son! Hey. Let's go! Okay, then. Sandaconda V. Okay. Not a bad way to end these four packs, actually. Yeah, yeah, very uh, well timed. Yeah, it's amped up. It's like rare, rare, hollow V. That's cool. I haven't seen that one either. So yeah, uh, like I, I, Sandaconda is not one of my favorite Pokemon, but they've done it justice in the art. It looks yeah, cool. yeah, it's cool. I do love his um, Gigantamax form, the spinning, uh, <laughs> the Beyblade, Beyblade yeah. basically. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to move these to the side and stuff, and then we'll uh, crack this open. So be back in a second. Okay, we are back for the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. Uh, so this is actually an Elite Trainer Box I kind of held off on getting, because this has been out quite some time now. Um, but I just was like, uh, I'm not I'm not sold on the set, really. Uh, God damn, this is difficult to open. Biobi. Back when they were released, they were... Um notoriously really hard to get your hands on and then recently yeah. they've kind of just yeah they've started flooded them and like here's five million of them yeah uh, a lot of places have them reduced a bit for that fact. yeah exactly well i got this for i think it was because of the deal as well but mm. i did end up getting this for like 34 35 for 10 packs that's yeah. pretty good so got the player's guide um as is standard it shows off like tips on certain cards and it shows you all of the cards in the set and stuff but we're not gonna not gonna spoil ourselves with that now inside i believe this um so i can't show it all on camera but if you unfold it inside we've got uh shiny charizard that is shiny dragapult right yes okay cool shiny trotricity i think okay cool and definitely shiny culver's culver knight because it's white um so yeah i'm gonna Definitely put that up on my wall. Uh, I was going to leave that as a cool backdrop. There we are, thank you. Uh, right, and obviously this is kind of themed about uh, Gigantamax Eevee. Look at it, it's a fluffy boy or girl. Uh, right, and I'm going to very quickly go through these. You've all seen what's in the trainer box. But I'll show you just in case. So we've got the player's guide. This is like how to play the game and stuff. Pretty useful, to be honest. Um, I mean, you don't really need it. And you'll probably learn just as much playing the online client. But, you know, we've got the uh, the the packs, uh, the sleeve, sorry. Very nice. We've got the code card, which I may have accidentally flashed to you. Got a ton of energies. Uh, 
Jesus. Honestly, I've opened so many Elite Trainer boxes now. I, I've probably got like close to a hundred of each energy. Uh, we've got the separators, which are quite nice, yeah, obviously. It's uh, just like a zoom in on the other side, which is quite cute. Got that. We have our dice. I'm not going to open them up, but um, they are brown and black, which isn't my favourite co colour combo. <laughs> No. But, you know, you do have the set symbol somewhere as well. There we go, that's the set symbol. Uh, I think it's that way, maybe, for Shining Fits. Uh, I believe we get two damage counters. They're, they are plastic, they've got a nice poison and burn. Of course, we get the EV VMAX card. Very cute. I'm not going to take it out of this because there's no point, but. Very cute, uh, you know, I, I, I like having that. The, nice promo. Yeah, exactly. It, and it is nice when, like, these limited Elite Trainer boxes give you promos, because, you know, I know they give you more packs anyway, but it does make it feel a bit more special. And, of course, we've got ten packs. I'm not going to count them out now. Uh, I'm going to put everything back in the box now and lay these out, and then we'll start opening up some Shining Fates. We'll be back in a sec. Alright, we are back. So, um, ten, 10 packs, as I mentioned. We've got two of each design and two extra of uh, Dragapult and Charizard. So, without further ado, I think we're just going to break straight into them. So, Shining Fate um, is not a set I've bought a ton of stuff from. I've got a decent bit of Hidden Fate and a few Champions Path stuff, but Shining Fate kind of came around when... I bought so much Pokemon cards, I was like, ah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna hold off for a little bit. But I mean, with an Elite Trainer box for like as cheap as I got it, I you can't pass it up. It's it's a really hype set. Uh, right, so uh, I'm gonna do it this way and put them all down so I know exactly where we are in these packs. So uh, th also just say this set is very small, so you're gonna see a lot of repeats all the time. Blast through the comments but, and comments. Yeah. Thwacky, Cramorant. Oh, Rusted Shield. Yay. There we are. Take a shot every time you see one of those. Or oh, Rusted Sword. We've got Shinx. We've got Horsey. Yanma. Uh, one of the more peckers. Okay, so the next one could be a Shiny Vault. Oh, oh hang on. Oh, no, it could be an amazing Wait. Rare. This is the third amazing rare Kyogre I've put. I pulled one on stream, on video. Yeah, I pulled one last time, and I think I pulled one in like one of the videos I did solo. I have three of these amazing rare Kyogres. That's fantastic. That is. Are there other amazing rares in this set even? Um, possibly. I mean, they're really nice cards, and I'm Very not. Nice. Yeah, I'm then. not annoyed, but like. I pulled one wow. or two of them myself, so yeah, they... And we got Rizarude, who's kind <laughs> yeah, of cool yeah, yeah. as well. There we are, that's... Wow, okay, well... Good start. I mean, it's a brilliant start, <laughs> but... Um, and considering you haven't opened that many shiny fates as well, it's... Yeah. Shocking, the, so many. <laughs> the statistical chances are... Wow, there we are. I mean, I'm more than happy to give you one, and uh, potentially I mean, even... I I've got a spare as well, so maybe... Oh. Um, Give it to Tom, maybe. Yeah, friend of the stream, Tom. Um, he doesn't really collect to the same level we do, but you know, he he likes he likes having Pokemon cards yeah. and stuff. He'll appreciate it. Exactly. Uh, right. So we've got a Steel Energy. Uh, so again, we're going to see a lot of these. Dartre oh, hang on. I'm going to put it down like that. Uh, we've got Cramorant again. Rusted, Rusted Shield too. again. Yanmer again. Okay, first trap bench. <gasps> Wait, is Snowman a bench? No, no. Yeah, Snowman Benches is this set. Snowman Bench is this set. Okay, we're looking for Snowman a bench. There's many Snowman Benches as you can get. Shinx, Rowlet, Eevee is the next one potentially. Yes. Um, <gasps> yeah, boy. Oh, look at that. It's a silvery boy. He's a bird. Ah, oh, do you know Corvusquoy is the one I kind of forget about, obviously, yeah, because it's a nice, it's a nice, um, yeah, nice shiny though. I really like. like yeah. it. I'm guessing the entire line is in shiny vault then. Um, I know I've pulled that Corvusquoy. Okay. I may have pulled the Corviknight as well, so yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, 
Uh, Rookie ooh, D. Ooh, ooh, it's been good, Bandit. Again. Ooh. <laughs> hey, 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 okay, this this is the Tim Curse card, I do believe. It's so uh, pulled like four of these or something now. Yeah, like four of them. And that God pack where I, I got the rare and there was one behind it. Just an extra card in the pack of just oh, a yes. Crowbat Remax. That was beyond. Yes. So there we are. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to jiggle these about. I'm going to keep the Charizards till the end. Okay. I've got a, I've got a good feeling about these. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to go back to a Dragapult. Wow, well, so far, two for two packs, we've been doing amazing. Yeah, literally. Uh, an amazing rare and a shiny vault, so... Because amazing rare is part of the regular set, isn't it? It's yes, not a shiny it's vault. not part of the shiny vault. Okay. And I mean, part of the reason Tim's got four uh, um, Crobat Vs is just because there's so few cards. There's like 70 cards. Yeah, it's, 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 and I opened a lot of shiny fruits. Yeah, and if you're going to pull a V, Crobat, you've probably got like a... One in ten chance of it being Crobat, so... Uh, right. <laughs> Cramorant again. Hey, Team Yell. Ooh, maybe this is a foreboding one for something we'll open later. A set with a Marnie card in, obviously. Monkey uh, Yeah, oh, Monkey Pole. We've got Eevee. Oh, okay, first Nicket. Uh, Horsey, I thought it was Snom for a second. Snom Revenge! Snom Revenge! Hey. Is the next one? No, I think it's the one after. Oh, I can't count. I think it's that one after the next. Yeah, okay, right. More Peko. The next one. Yeah, oh, just for this. <sighs> so I, I was like, I couldn't quite tell because the Shining yeah. Vault has a white background. So I like, think <gasps> there is a shiny Cramorant ah, set, isn't there? It is orange, I believe. Which yeah, is, yeah, yeah. It looks like uh, yeah, yeah. No, and the Zerud again. Okay. First pack. There you go. Yeah, there you are. That is a completely eh. Uh, right, okay. Hey, this is the first uh, Covenant Shining Fate we've opened. Uh, so, as I alluded to at the start of the video as well, definitely stick around for part three because we're going to do something interesting as well. It's not just opening products, there's going to be a little game, as it were. Uh, four to the front, it is fire, no, water energy. Uh, Thwacky, Jesus! Have we pulled Thwacky in every pack so far? I Rusted think. Shield! Rusted Shield! Haven't seen the sword yet? I haven't seen Rotom yet. Library Rotom. Uh, more Pekka 1. Uh, coughing. Hey! There's first Gossifler. I like Gossifler. Cacnea's Great Adventure. Uh, okay, so. I think next is. Yeah. Possible. Uh, no, it's coughing. it's uh, coughing. He's he's mischievous coughing. <laughs> uh, ooh, Cramorant V. Okay then. <laughs> There's so many Cramorants. <laughs> I uh, I don't think I've pulled this, so I'm definitely happy with yeah, that. It's quite a nice card. I like that. Yeah, I like it. He's cute in this one. It's yeah. uh, very blue, very like light and stuff. A boy. Yeah, exactly. I I don't genuinely know how many V's are in this set, but like. I've probably got about one eighth of them already, or something. Uh, so, Toxtricity will get us halfway through this box. So far, it's been a pretty good box. Damn, yeah. Two V's, an amazing, and a shiny vault. Like, yeah, that's. That's. Well, actually, yeah, so every pack. Uh, it's evened out to be every pack yeah. has been worth it, apart from that dud one, but we got a V and a shiny vault in one, yeah. uh, and an amazing in one, so. Uh, code card to the side. Yeah, boy, steel. No. Uh, we've got uh, Team Flare Towel. Team Flare? <laughs> Team Flare Towel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Elder Goss. There we go. To go with Goss of Flare. Ooh, Luxio to go with Shinx. Uh, the other Morpeko to go with the first Morpeko. Uh, Buizel. We haven't seen Floatzel yet. No, I got Nicky, there's a, I'm guessing, a Thievel in this set then. Yes, there definitely is. Okay, I may have seen it, I just can't picture it. Cacnea. Cufant, yay, cool. That means a uh, thing is Kapaja. Kaparaja. The next card. No, it's oh, Nicky Reverse. Ah, oh, well, hey, it, it, it's keeping all the good ones till the very end. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, fuck, hey, son! So I pulled this lost pack uh, yeah, last video as well, Delmoise V. Wow. But again, I, you know, pretty happy to pull Vs there. 
regardless. And they're always good to like if if you have Delmoy's V, I'm happy to give it a Tom as like a, yeah. Or just you go, Tom. Yeah, exactly. Moving the packs up a little bit. They're off camera, as you can see. Second half. Of First it. Charizard, Ooh. which is kicking off pack six. Uh, I mean, so Charizard V Max is part of the regular Shining Fates, is it? I don't think. No, I think it is Shiny Vault. Oh, okay. Is it the Rainbow Rare or Shiny Vault? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Um, no. Yeah, I don't. I know the shiny vault is bigger than regular shining fates. Yeah, yeah. There's like She's 90 <laughs> something, so. Um, yeah, cool. Right, steel energy. Ooh, there we are. First time we've seen Gym Trainer. Eh? That towel again. It's definitely a potent for something. Luxio. Tutel. Eevee, yeah. Nicket. Horsey. Snow on a bench! Snow on a bench, right, okay, the next one is a shiny vault potentially as well, so... This could... Yeah, boy! Oh, fucking... Oh, that's cute! That's adorable, yeah, that's a nice shiny Oh, I didn't know... No, I didn't know it was pink, that's cool! Very cute. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's very nice, definitely take that, Jesus Christ, oh... It looks a bit like, you know those vitamin tablets you'd get as a kid? Yeah! Because it's like... It doesn't have any real depth, but it's like etched in. Please don't eat these. <laughs> well, and the next one. Oh, okay, uh, Professor's uh, Research. Uh, professor. Cool. I feel like last time I got. F oh, no, I got the Rainbow Professor's Research, didn't I? No, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember either. Oh wait, no, no, that was Sword and Shield Beast. Mm. I got Rainbow. Um... Rainbow um, Old Lady Professor. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's it. Right, oh, we wait. Know, Snow on a Bench is the good sign. Snow on a Bench, and I remembered the good pull I had from Shining Fates last time. It was Ball Guy. Full Art Ball yes, Guy. Yes, Full Art Ball Guy. From the base uh, Shining Fates set yeah. as well, so. Oh, that was. that. That's still a pull I'm hyped about to this day. Oh, straight away saw the. Uh... The boy on the bench. Oh, there we are. The okay. Got grass energy. Actually, yeah, that Charizard pack was a good one then. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, yeah good rusted one. shield. Do you know, I've never seen a shield and a sword in the same pack though. I don't know if there's like. They I think I have. Never I'm do pretty that. sure I have. Okay, we've got Eldegoss, Dotrix. It's not on a bench. Come on. Mischievous coughing. Cacnea and his journey. Oh, Elder Goss to go with Gossifler. What? Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold on. Two, that's not reverse, is it? That's, no. He's got two snow on a bench. Definitely same pack of just... Come on now, guys. Does just that cancel it out? <laughs> just put that... Wow. Okay. That is literally the same card. Is this... Double good luck. No. No, it's not. God damn wow. it. Wow. Okay then. It cancels out then, yeah, that's the rule. Okay, wow. Oh, oh, that's, oh that's a rough that's pack. That's like the worst Shining Face pack that's <laughs> ever been opened. Hands down. Oh, Jesus wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious me. Oh, man. Right, okay, so we've got the last Covenant pack. Come on. Wow, that was... Uh, just mean. <laughs> Thing wow, okay, I mean, I know they're low on card numbers, but Jesus, you don't have to repeat them. Same card. That's, uh... I genuinely thought, like, oh, it's in the reverse already, but... Yeah. Well, that's the thing, because I was like, no, it feels like there's two more cards, but I don't know. But there we are. Uh, one, two, three, four to the front. We've only got two packs left after this. Mm -hmm. And if anybody's game... Ooh, Tropius! Hey. Who hasn't seen him? I mean, I've probably pulled him before, but it's been a while. Rotom Library. Another Cramorant. Cramorant to go with that uh, VA pulled. The Cacnea. Tutel. I don't want to see Snom in this one now. I think. Uh... Oh, Spinarak. That's the first one we've seen it, I think. Here we go. Right, after Qfant. Could... No, hang on, wait. Gossifler. No, Thwacky. Wait, is there a Grookey in this then? Yeah. Is there a... Uh, yeah, what's his name? So. Yeah, I don't think I've seen... I don't think I've seen... Any but Thwacky. Oof, Jan Mega. Okay, well... 
Th this is the part in the movie, right, where, like, people have developed their superpowers, but, like, there's been a split because mm. someone lied at the start of the movie innocently and it's come back to bite them. So, but this toxicity will give us something, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, going to be a swing at the end of the movie, for sure. Yeah, this is uh, the redemption kind of part. The, this is Act 3 of the movie. Um, also, fun fact, if you're watching a movie, especially like a Hollywood movie, look at the time time frame of the movie. When it reaches an hour into it, usually a large revelation or a scene happens. And it's like an unwritten but kind of written rule. Oh. Um, and it's just because uh, focus groups found that that's what keeps people's attention. Makes sense. Um, so yeah, just do that next time you watch a movie and it usually syncs up pretty well. Hmm. So we've got a Floatal, got a Dartrix, we've got a Rotom, we've got a Morpeckle, a Cacnea, Tootle, no I didn't put that earlier, no. Spinarak again. Next, next one is the good one. After Q fan. There is a question, yes. There is another one! Oh, let's fucking go! Look at that! I love these cards. They need to do more of them. Oh, that's nice. I have never seen this before. This is. That's colourful, that is vibrant, yeah. And just the spilling out. Okay, I. That, this was a very good pack. The last two packs are forgiven. Ooh, there we go. So there is a Rillaboom in this set as well. There you go. That answered my question. Yeah, okay. Hollow Rillaboom. There we go. I'll take that. That's... Uh... Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Right, okay. Um, I'm glad... Man, if I'd have pulled another Amazing Rare Kyogre, I'd have <laughs> genuinely been a little bit miffed. Or another three small adventures. So, right. Last pack. There is... Obviously, the shiny uh, Charizard VMAX. That is a potential. So, we'll see. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to say Fighting Energy. Oh, I'm going to say Water. Okay. No, Electric. Oh, we the first, <laughs> the first sword. I'm going to put the energy down, actually, so we know where we are. Luxio. Thwacky again. <laughs> Uh, Gossifleur, uh, oh my, it's a nominal bench, my alarm's going off on my phone and my battery's running out, this is very oh, tense now, oh we got coughing, this is very emotional music, oh, why is my, why is my alarm set for such emotional narrator endings? <laughs> the next one is gonna be, no, no, after no. Gossifleur, <laughs> it's gonna be, fucking me. hell! Let's go, okay. The music is swelling. Oh god, that's a very cute that's a very cute milsery. What the last thing? It's gonna be a dreadnought. I I really the greatest I like that art though. That's yeah. cool art. That's a very nice dreadnought. Anyway, I've set an alarm on my phone that I can't remember what to do with, and I need to charge my camera. So Stay tuned, because I've done all of my stuff now. Tim has two Pokeballs and some really old set. Well, not old. Sun and Moon era sets to go through. So stay tuned for part two, which I'll be uploading next time. Uh, probably tomorrow. Hopefully this music isn't copyright stricken. <laughs> I'll see you then. <laughs>